Hi there, Aquaba, and welcome. I hope you're doing great. So today I will show you how I make my Ghanaian rice balls, also known as umutuo. It's a pretty easy recipe and you just need three simple ingredients. So come along and let me show you how it is done. So to get started, we will need some rice, the star of the show. And here I have about three cups of rice. So I'm going to pour it into my pot. I will then wash the rice with some cold water to get rid of any impurities and here I am using some long grain jasmine rice. You can use any rice you have available but I don't think brown rice or some basmati rice will work because the rice have to have some starch in order to achieve that soft and uh, sticky rice we're looking for. Okay, so once the rice is thoroughly washed, I will transfer it to the penna and since I am using 3 cups of rice, I will go in with 6 cups of water. More water is good for this recipe because we want a really soft rice balls. I also added some salt to taste and on low heat, we are going to cook this until the rice absorbs the water. And now I am back to check on the rice after about 25 minutes and be sure to leave the rice alone so it absorbs the water completely and the rice has absorbed all the water very well as you can see here and it is soft. Also make sure to check for the softness before proceeding to knead. So I'm not quite sure why I thought this would be a good idea using this spatula. So I'm going to switch it to a wooden spoon and that should do the job much better. So with the wooden spoon, I am going to mash and knead the rice against the side of the pot as you see here. So I won't really consider omutu to be one of Ghana's popular dishes and this is because it's not raved about like the jalos, the wache and fufu you know but omutu originates from the Awusa people and enjoyed throughout Ghana and is mostly paired with granot or palm nut soup that's what people normally pair their omutu with. And omutu is one dish I can really say I don't really care for because growing up it's not something I frequently ate but I love to make it for the family whenever they want it and I also wanted to share it with you all because you are awesome. And friends also important to note is that make sure your rice is on low heat when cooking to avoid burning so give it time to allow the rice to soak up the water so your rice balls turn out soft and sticky and add more water if you want a softer rice ball totally up to you so mine turned out just as i want it soft and sticky look at the consistency here just perfect so this isn't really hard to make at all, is it? You just need this three simple ingredients. You need some rice, a pinch of salt, and enough water. And the amount of water added will depend on the type of rice you're using, obviously. And it is not necessarily to drench your rice in water, but it's just to add a little extra to ensure you achieve a very soft and sticky rice ball or omutu and also give yourself enough time to allow the rice to absorb the water so that the kneading process is a bit easier and don't be like me use a wooden spoon instead of that spatula i was using i'm not sure what i was thinking at all <laughs> So this is how I would dish out and store my rice balls. So here I will scoop a good serving and then wrap it up in my plastic wrap to store away to enjoy later. But if you've been enjoying yours right away, just scoop a desirable amount into your wet bowl and swirl around until your balls are formed and then enjoy. And my family will be enjoying their rice ball with some palm nut soup and I do have a recipe on how to make that so be sure to check it out and I've also actually come across a couple of videos of people having their rice balls with beans and it looked absolutely delicious I am yet to try it okay so friends thank you for cooking with me and i hope you found the video enjoyable and helpful if you did please give me a thumbs up let me know if you have any questions and remember to subscribe until next time stay safe and blessed always